again today. And I don't think it'll be the last day this uh, seven day future cast where we're talking about the impacts of wind either. We are going to be looking at another very windy day on Sunday. Today's winds are a warm wind. That's not going to be the case by the end of the weekend. And we'll talk all about those details, but wanted to start off with the temperatures this morning because not only are the winds the story today, but unseasonably warm air also going to be part of the weather story today. 45 in Providence, Newport, 46 in Smithfield, already up to the upper 40s, Taunton and in New Bedford. I do have our threat tracker in the medium level for today with a wind advisory that's in effect most of the day today, right into nine o'clock this evening. Strongest winds midday into the afternoon with gusts 40 to 50 miles per hour, leading to isolated wind damage. Friday's threat tracker, you're going to be dodging downpours. The periods of rain will be uh, with us throughout the day today. The scattered showers are going to be heavy at times. Can't rule out an isolated thunderstorm. And and the Saturday future cast, while I'm not looking at any significant weather issues, it's not looking very pretty this week. And in fact, much of the early part of uh, April, say first week of April, looking more like a winter weather pattern than a spring one. We've got to put the spring weather on hold for a little bit. Not today, though. Today is nice and mild. Temperatures in Providence 45. Winds are still light from the south at five miles an hour. They will be picking up through the morning hours. And while we're dry over Rhode Island and southeastern Massachusetts, we have this area of high pressure that kept us storm free last couple of days sliding eastward. Now we are getting the return flow around that high. So as we take a look at our conditions here for today, one of the reasons we're going to be nice and warm here is that we have that southwesterly wind rotating around our high pressure and bringing in all of that warm air. But look over the Ohio Valley, the Great Lakes. You can see the rainfall. That's going to be moving eastward too. We keep it away during the day today, but by tonight we start to track those showers into our area. So let's time it out for you. Here we are this morning starting off with plenty of sunshine. There'll be some passing clouds at times, but the morning is brighter than the afternoon. Through the afternoon, the clouds will tend to spread inland, thicken and lower. By 10 o'clock in the evening, could see some pockets of mist and drizzle, and that gives way to scattered showers through the night. So tomorrow morning's commute does certainly look damp, scattered showers, some heavy at times. This is two o'clock in the afternoon, so off and on throughout the day and into the evening Friday. And unfortunately for the weekend, the front that's going to be coming through and bringing the showers Friday stalls close by for Saturday. So windy and mild today at the coastline. Temperatures held in the 50s to near 60. Inland spots you are into the mid and maybe even some upper 60s. 67 Burrowville, 66 in Situate. Windy but warm in Seekonk and in Taunton Fall River near 59 degrees with the winds coming in off of the bay. Future cast for tonight. Showers are likely some patchy fog, staying very mild. Temperatures down to about 52. Friday, we're seeing scattered showers throughout the day. Saturday, again, 55 degrees. The front is slow to clear, so lingering showers still on the mild side of things Saturday, but big difference on Sunday. Saturday night into Sunday could see some rain or snow showers, even a few snow squalls possible Sunday morning. It does look drier in the afternoon, but the winds will be strong and the winds Sunday will be cold wind chills in the 20s. Now we're looking at another system coming through Monday into early Tuesday that could bring some rain and snow.